Hey, yo, Sadil, y'all, this is Cool G Rap right here. And right now you're watching VladTV.com, you heard? If, if you were to name, you know, excluding yourself, uh -huh. your top five Queens rappers of all time, and, 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 and your justification for those top five, not, not in any order, just okay. if you just grab a top five bunch, who would be in that group? Run DMC. Right off top. Why run DMC? Because they have made so many classic hits that if you even if you throw on to this day, like it will take you back and you will lose your fucking mind. And 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 and, if, and for just for that alone, I miss Jam Master J so much. Like, cause it's like you know you will never see Run DMC on stage again, like the way they started out. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, That's one. LL Cool J. Why LL? I love because he's one of the first um, rappers to um, really bring a complex flow to the game. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Maybe not with so much with his commercial records, but um, records like I'm Dangerous and, and songs like that. But he really um, displayed his um, lyrical, lyrical and flow capabilities. I mean, he really showed out okay. for that time. That's two. <clears throat> um, Nas. Why Nas? Nas because he's he's um he's everything that you would want to hear out of a rapper. You know, he's um lyrical, he's witty, he got wordplay, he has the ability to tell a story. Um That's three. Mob Deep. Why Mob Deep? Because Mob Deep. They came out of in in a time where I felt that real gritty Gritty hardcore street New York rap was needed, you know, you know, because it was like a uh, the rise of the West Coast at the time, mm -hmm. and it was like nobody holding the crown down on our side, you know what I'm saying? So Mob Deep, I can, you know, I give a lot of credit to for like being one of the representatives of, New, of East Coast rap in New York and, and, and you know things of that nature. For okay. holding it down, you know what I'm saying? I give him a lot of credit for that. One more. I would have to say 50. Ah. I would have to say 50. 50? <laughs> Why 50? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 50, he just, at the time he came out, um, with the impact that he, that he, when he impacted the world, it was like that hardcore street shit with the, um, started to become distant. From the game, mm -hmm. from the U from the New York side, and, and Fifty just brought it back. Like, like he just put fucking NY on his back and like, like I'ma hold it down. Don't even worry about it. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. brought that gritty shit back to the game. You know what I'm saying? And, and on top of that, he had a hell of a story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, like if, if somebody was to write a Fifty Cent movie before Fifty Cent life actually unfolded like that. You would you you be like yo this is yeah this is definitely fiction because yeah. this will never happen to nobody <laughs> right you know what I'm saying right. somebody to you know you know to get shot nine times and then survive that and then blow up and then become one of the biggest artists in the fucking game and actually kind of corner the market almost damn near and, they make and got the whole world like you know. <laughs> <laughs>